The VERT stands for Vertically Integrated Research Teams, and it's an idea that we had to try to capitalize on what's best at, at William & Mary. We wanted to engage graduate students, undergraduates, faculty, and alumni together in a big research project. And I'm looking in my VERT at what, what would it be like for students in the humanities to work in teams, and what would it be like for them to work with people who have various levels of experience, and how can their research be better as a result of working on that kind of team. So my team, for example, had me, I'm a professor, a graduate student is on the team, four undergraduate students. We also consulted a specialist from outside the university. We are studying the question of belonging, like how do you know when you belong to a place or stop belonging to a place. The fields that help us understand that are languages and literatures, government, history, and others. So I had a couple of students who study government, a couple of students who study history, a student who knows a lot of different kinds of languages and therefore various cultural perspectives. We wanted to actually produce some culture, not only study what we were learning about the sense of belonging to a place, but also make something. And we were going to need an artist for that. So those are the various disciplines that um, were central to the team. We were careful in choosing the team, that we picked people who were right for that, who brought specializations that we need. So it meant that everyone had a different perspective on a lot of things that could be very useful. One of our students is an amazing artist and she illustrated all of the pictures and illustrations for the accounts. Um, and we had one student who is knows like a ton of languages, so she brought that expertise in translating some of the accounts. I am the one who can do printing. I've been working on getting the printing presses ready. I know how to set type and do all of that. Uh, so that was my expertise uh, element of it as well, was actually making the final object. I was very conscious um, of the idea of othering. I think I brought in that extra eyes for how are we really talking about the people that we're supposed to be giving voice to? Are we perpetuating that othering in the accounts? Um, and I think everyone was really good at that, but that's something that I had experience in and I was happy to be a part of the team um, helping with that. Our VERT team looked at the modern history of bird watching in American culture. So bird watching is a, an endeavor that sits right between science and recreation and environmentalism. And so we looked at the influence of and the prominence of each of those factors, how important they were for bird watchers in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. We had four students in our, uh, on our team and we had two groups working on slightly different aspects of a unified research question. So Jared and Andrew were looking at periodicals, um, specifically Audubon Magazine and Birding Magazine. And they were looking at advertisements for bird watching and nature tours and they were sort of quantifying the language in those ads and trying to see if those advertising techniques changed over time. Francie and I spent most of our time reading archived pages of the eBird website and scanning for science-related and recreation-related words. I think the biggest thing that I learned from this is that qualitative analysis can actually be really useful and insightful even when you're talking about scientific content and it wasn't something I'd ever experienced before and now I'm really looking forward to seeing how I can apply both fields in the future. Participating in the VERT made it really clear to me that this integrative cross, you know, interdisciplinary approach can really work. And I came into college, you know, bio pre-med and have since moved towards a much more interdisciplinary vein. Now I'm designing my own major and the VERT helped me see that that sort of overlap is really doable. Being a part of VERT introduced me to a different kind of research that's just not individual or for, you know, a paper for class, but something that's really collaborative. And we all really had our own focus and interest um, in our own part of the project we were working on, but it was all for a greater piece coming together. Having Dan coming from the sciences and me coming from the humanities, um, we could in some ways complement each other um, by having those different perspectives and then also sort of challenge each other to think about 
um, the interdisciplinary questions we were asking in sort of non-traditional ways. Science and humanities are sort of on opposite ends of the campus, literally. And um, I think that this has really showed me um, that there are a lot more avenues for collaboration than might necessarily be apparent. It made me think about how I communicate my own work, it made me think about how we teach, it made me think about um, the different approaches you could have to the same task. And so that is the great advantage of interdisciplinary work, that's the great advantage of the vertical aspect of it, but it's a it's great experience for anyone, I think, in the university to be thinking about those things at any stage of their university career. These are the pilot teams. My hopes for the future are that the VERT takes off in such a way that faculty and graduate students and undergraduate students just find joy in doing it and that we as a community at William & Mary find ways to share our research with the public around us.